Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is March 19, 2021, and today we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the principal patron saint of Canada and the patron of the Universal Church. Our gospel for today is from the account of Matthew chapter 1, verses 16 and verses 18 to 21 and 24a, and I would like to share it with you. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ. Now, the birth of Jesus the Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy feast day of St. Joseph, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, as what I've told you, we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, he is a man of few words, yet his life filled with noble words. A man of actions with few words. Are you like St. Joseph? Okay. He talked less, but he acts more. Today's gospel describes him in this way, and I quote, a righteous man. What makes him righteous? Three points. Number one, he never exposed Mary's pregnancy to be shamed by the public. You know, he was a righteous man because he saved Mary from public disgrace. He was a righteous man because he saved Mary from the danger and the peril of death. He saved Mary from public disgrace. You know what, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, human as we are, sometimes there is a tendency in us that we, we love to talk the mistakes and the scandals of others, right? We love to entertain rumors, gossips, and uh, words on the street. St. Joseph is not that type of man. Like St. Joseph, we are challenged to be righteous. We have to protect others by keeping the irregularities of their life in our prayers. What makes him righteous? Number two, the gospel says he had the initial plan to escape and run away. And the gospel says, and I quote, he planned to dismiss Mary secretly. He was righteous because he never did it. He faced the problem, he faced the challenges, and he is a righteous man because he refrained from running away from the challenges. Therefore, to be righteous means to refrain from running away from our problems. Friends, brothers and sisters, I do not know what the challenges in your life are today. Like St. Joseph, challenge the challenges. Focus on the solution, not on the problems. If you have problems, fix it, face it, and fear not. Do not be afraid. Why? Because God will give you someone, an angel, to guide you on the right way. To be righteous, therefore, means when we have problems, allow God or give God the chance to work with you. To be righteous means to give 
God a space in our life. Friends, allow God to direct in you, especially in the moments of desperation, in the moments wherein you are really clouded with darkness. Allow God to give sunshine on your life. Allow God to work with you. To be righteous means to be like an angel. Be a blessing to someone's burdens. Saint Joseph was an angel to Mary. And because of that, God sent Joseph an angel to guide him to decide well. And finally, Saint Joseph was a righteous man because he did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. At the end of the gospel, it says, and I quote, he took Mary as his wife. End of the quote. He's a righteous man because he listened to God. He was a righteous man because he obeyed to the commandments of God. He protected the vulnerable. He was the protector of Mary and Jesus. Today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, although I was not able to share with you our first reading and second reading of today, but our readings of today give us three great men to look upon as our models. Like in our first reading, we are encouraged to be like David. That is, we have to build house for God. Give God a home. Build a house for God. And in our second reading, we are challenged to be a man of faith like Abraham. Hope against hope. And our gospel is asking us to be righteous like Saint Joseph. Do what God tells you to do. Like Saint Joseph, speak less, talk less, and act more. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen.